Welcome to today's session, PCI Compliance in the Contact Center. I'm Maddie Hubbard, Marketing Program Manager at Aspect and today's web webinar organizer. Before we start, let's take a moment to ensure that everyone is ready and familiar with the webinar control panel. You should have a, you should have a control panel on the right side of your screen, and you may minimize this panel by clicking on the double arrow button in the upper left corner. You can expand the panel by clicking the same button. So let's get started. Today's panelists are Howard Leary, Vice President, Solutions Consulting at Waterfield Technologies, and Jay Hancock, Senior Sales Engineer from CyberSource, a Visa company. Take it away, Howard. Thank you, Matt. And, and welcome Jay as well and, and all, to all of our participants. Um, I, I wanted to just briefly um, mention that you know I think most everyone on the call will probably be rec will recognize the aspect and visa brands but I uh, thought that it would be important just to briefly introduce ourselves and um, our respective companies uh, Waterfield and CyberSource. Um, you know the, the, the Waterfield brand is um, uh, built on a legacy of trust. That's our tagline. We're a third generation company. Um, Waterfield Technologies itself was uh, developed in, or uh, started in 1984, um, but is part of the larger Waterfield Group, which has served the financial markets since the 1920s and some operations dating back into the 1880s as well. Um, we have access to over a billion dollars in assets and are still managed by the Waterfield Company, our Waterfield family. Um, that legacy of trust is built on a reputation for creating superior automated and agent assisted customer experiences. Um, the, the proof point in that is that we have a 96% customer satisfaction and referral rate and we service 20 of the Fortune 500 companies. Um, my name is Howard Leary, I'm the Vice President of Solution Consulting and I provide technical oversight to um, all of our projects. Um, I've been in the industry for about 20 years now, and i um, uh, very glad to be here presenting today. I'm going to turn it to Jay now to introduce himself and CyberSource. Great. Thank you, Howard. This is, uh, hi, I'm Jay Hancock. I'm one of the senior sales engineers uh, with CyberSource. Um, CyberSource is a, is a payment gateway. We connect to over 100 processors and banking acquirers around the globe. Uh, by using CyberSource as a merchant, you basically become processor agnostic, meaning that uh, as your business grows and you require modifications and changes to your banking relationships, we allow mi for minimal disruption to your existing processes. Uh, CyberSource supports over 400,000 merchants between our enterprise and small business payment platforms. Uh, you will find that with CyberSource, some of the largest merchants around the globe trust us to handle their payment needs uh, across all payment channels, specifically uh, uh, e-commerce, point of sale, um, mobile, and the call center channels. Uh, one of our top, uh, on top of our payment processing capabilities, we provide solutions around payment security uh, that really help merchants reduce their PCI scope and their overall risk of handling credit cards. Also, our flagship product, Decision Manager, is well known in the industry with regards to helping merchants reduce the risk of fraud and just the overall time spent fighting fraud. Um, as terms of our relationship to Visa, in, in 2010 we were purchased, required by Visa, uh, but we act as a wholly owned subsidiary of Visa. Uh, what that means is that we fall under the tight security controls and operational availability guidelines of Visa, but we're able to offer services that speak really to all card brands and payment types. Uh, we view Waterfield Technologies as our preferred partner for IVR and call center solutions, and I'm excited uh, to be here today presenting uh, with them. Howard? Th thank you, Jay, for that, and i um, also very proud to, to, to be working with you. So um, I, I think it's real important that we kind of start with um, understanding the problem. And um, we see that, that insider PCI fraud is becoming a, a big problem and a growing problem with, within the contact center industry. Um, you know, Verizon's uh, 2015 data breach investigations report uh, just recently released uh, uh, that 55 percent of the top actions um, of, of security instance, incident, incidents excuse me, uh, were based on internal actors abusing access. 
that was entrusted to them. So, um, you know, in, internal actors remain a, a large part of the security risk um, that, that companies are, are facing. We also see that about 68% of contact senders are reporting some kind of losses related to credit card fraud. Um, in fact, 42% uh, um, are reporting losses greater than 250000 a year and 26% with losses exceeding a million dollars annually. Um, so definitely a big problem and something worth um, investigating solutions for. Um, we also see that, um, you know, that uh, there, are, there are substantial penalties and fines associated with um, lack of compliance. So if you're not compliant, those um, fees can range from fifty to $200,000 per violation. Um, and, uh, and of course, in addition to that, fines for each cardholder data that was compromised. Um, Worst of all, the penalty can be suspension of your credit card acceptance capability um, and um, perhaps some other uh, non-tangible um, uh, consequences, of course, to include things like loss of reputation with your customers and suppliers and partners, uh, possible litigation uh, from customers whose data was breached, and um, even loss of customer trust, which affects your future ability to do business and sales and so on. So it's a big problem. It's a problem that's only getting more complex and more challenging. As we see the emergence of home-based agents, uh, we see increased risk there because um, a lot of the controls that are in place within the contact center and supervision are not there in the home, and so there need to be new ways of, of addressing uh, that particular point. So people could be writing down phone numbers and or um, uh, credit card data, um, while they're taking those payments as at-home agents. We also see the emergence of the EMB chip. Uh, if you look at the EMB chip, it's basically that computer chip that you're seeing in your credit cards, um, and that's becoming more and more prevalent. And that's really helping us to avoid fraud at point of sale um, in retail establishments, but it's driving to a soft spot within contact centers where it's perceived that it'll be easier to, to um, skim data from conversations that are either being recorded or um, you know, even um, internal actors like agents that write down credit card numbers. Um, I'll tell you that in our consulting engagements that we've had, um, we've continued to see um, uh, you know, sensitive data and even confidential and protected data like, like uh, PCI data being written down on notepads um, and uh, representing a security risk. Um, you know, data security in a contact center is more complex than e-commerce um, as you look at the scale of operations, multiple systems and applications that might share that information. Um, you're recruiting policies from people uh, to policies around clean workstations, which are sometimes difficult to enforce. Um, the whole onshore, offshore question um, uh, for multiple locations and all, all of those kind of really uh, drive the complexities and the challenges for, for contact centers and security in this area. Some reasons to act now, really, um, you know, when we look at the, the cost of the PCI audit, um, you know, on the right-hand side here, we're seeing that even a level three and four relatively low uh, volume, annual transaction volume, um, have significant costs of entry into PCI compliance. And then and that all moves as you become, uh, you know, level two or level one merchants. Um, you know, and these are costs that were provided by Gartner in one of their reports um, that I think are kind of on the low end um, from what we've experienced with other customers. We know that fraud's always um, increasing and that the United States actually leads the world um, as the largest source of, of, of um, uh, credit card fraud within, within the global community. 42% uh, of Americans have experienced some kind of payment card fraud, and we see that 40% that of all financial fraud is related to credit cards. So it remains an important issue that has to be addressed. Um, and probably as you analyze just the way you do business, um, the way that you conduct transactions, that, that we are becoming a population that's increasingly card-centric. So paying with a credit card or a debit card versus paying with cash uh, becomes a way of life now. So 
I think, you know, I'm a big fan of Stephen Covey, so I like to begin with the end in mind. So as we develop solutions around um, this issue and this problem, we'd like to begin with that that goal of, of collecting the payment card data in the most secure way that's possible and that in a way that can improve or even maintain positive customer experiences. And um, the way we do that is through offering self-service whenever possible, so taking the agent out of the mix of that interaction, um, improving the customer experience by bringing best practices and IVR development and scripting and um, just you know, accessing data that helps us to make that a more logical and efficient process for the for the customer. Uh, reducing agent handle time by offloading the payment process. Um, you know, when you look at the ROI for that, uh, a typical cost per transaction, cost per call, if you will, for an agent assisted call in, in an onshore operation here in the United States would be in the thirteen to fifteen dollar per call range. Um, if you can take even five dollars of that transaction costs um, off of, of that experience by offloading it to an automated system, um, uh, then you're um, improving ROI and reducing agent handle time. I think one of the most important things that Aspect is, is helping um, customers uh, uh, of ours uh, to, to experience is uh, passing context data between systems. How many of us have called in um, to uh, authenticate, identify and authenticate in an IVR only to be passed to an agent who then asks us those same questions. What's your account number? What's your PIN number? What was your date of birth? And so on. And then how frustrating to be transferred to a, a, a payment system that once again asks you to identify yourself. So we find that in the solutions we're developing um, together with Aspect and CyberSource that you know, we believe in passing that context data between systems so that you have authenticated callers um, and, and reducing that burden on, on the caller. So the, the key really here to preventing agent fraud is keeping the card data out of the hands. Uh, my, my CEO is really uh, fond of saying uh, that the real issue here is fraud prevention and we want to keep focused on that. Um, everything that we do needs to, to focus on um, you know, preventing fraud. But it's often overlooked and the, risk, the risks of non-compliance are really great. And so when we look at um, some solutions that are out there in, in, in the marketplace today and, and the ones that we bring to the market as well, one of the first ones is having a pool of secure agents. And this isn't something that's scalable to all organizations. Not everybody can afford to segment a group of agents to handle all of the payment um, processing. Uh, but you can have secure agents who are trained and certified in PCI rules and policies and um, that are tightly audited and supervised. Um, but um, that doesn't always scale. And so that's where automation can come into place with PCI uh, secure payment applications on IVRs that are either premise-based or or cloud-based. Um, if it's premise-based, then you of course have to have PCI compliance within your data center and contact center um, infrastructure, um, or you can leverage a solution like Aspects that's already PCI compliant in in its own cloud um, as an alternative. There's also a concept around. DTMF masking and so uh, DTMF masking or clamping and, and as some may call it is the ability to to um, tone out those uh, touch tones uh, either into a flat tone, white noise or, or no noise at all and so we'll talk a little bit about solutions that allow for that for when the agent has to handle a transaction and then CyberSource's secure acceptance application um, is something we're going to learn more about today in, in, in the presentation. So let's talk about the, the IVR. The secure IVR solution that, that we are offering uh, allows your callers to call in. They may interact with your ACD. They may interact with, um, with a, an IVR um, or um, be routed to an agent and so on. But at some point in the conversation, they need to make a payment. And so that's where the Waterfield Secure Payment application comes into play. So we'll collect that data. We'll collect the, the, the payment amount, the payment uh, method, um, the, the expiration date, the CVV, and so on. And through integration with CyberSource, 
um, the CyberSource Payment Gateway and Solutions, we will um, process that payment um, through them. We get the, repay the, the results returned to us um, along with information like a, a, a uniquely generated token. And we can update then your backend system. We can update our reporting portal. Um, now, one thing that might uh, alert some folks on the line is recordings as associated with a, a reporting portal around uh, a payment processing application. What's the, we don't record credit card numbers um, or anything like that, but when it comes to processing payments by check, which is another valid form of payment uh, that is supported through CyberSource, um, uh, collecting those payments require that you disclose things like um, the you know return check fees and so on and so recording the disclosure as well as the response of the customer is important and that's something that we provide there. The last step in 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 the process is uh, a notification to the customer that can be uh, you know here's your confirmation number and and so forth through the through the IVR and voice experience. We can even send SMS notifications and uh, even um, provide optional surveys as part of the wrap-up of that transaction. Now, before we go too far, I'd like to turn it back over to Jay for a moment to talk a little bit more about things that are going on here in the CyberSource Payment Gateway. Jay? Great. Thank you, Howard. Yeah, so when it comes to CyberSource, as I mentioned before, beyond our payment capabilities, uh, payment processing capabilities, we have a whole a wide range of products that speak uh, that help merchants uh, you know, reduce their PCI scope, uh, increase their security in terms of handling credit cards, and help them reduce um, uh, their risk to fraud. So merchants can use our tokenization services represented there by the CyberSource Level 1 PCI compliant tokenization services box there to offload really the hassles of storing credit cards in their own environment. Um, and as I said before, because we're processor agnostic, you know, should the merchant decide to change their banking relationship, should the merchant decide to expand to new regions of the globe, the tokens in a sense are decoupled from your banking relationship. So therefore, you don't have to go through the hassles of trying to pry your cards away from your existing processor or just existing bank. And you also don't have to get into an, an IT project in terms of importing that data uh, someplace else. Um, in addition to our tokenization services, we offer fraud management services. Uh, you know, again, because of our relationship with Visa, CyberSource, we have, we have access to over about 60 billion credit card transactions annually. The benefit there is that you know, we have a very solid pulse on the latest forms of fraud and the latest forms of fraud across a wide range of industries and payment channels. I know Howard had mentioned earlier about the increase in card not present fraud in the mobile and the call center space. And that's part of, a lot of that's driven, like you said, by the EMV adoption that's happening in the United States. I think I was coming in this morning and I got an email that said that, you know, right now card not present fraud is ro roughly about a $10 billion um, problem for merchants, but they expect that number to grow to $19 billion in 2018. So. Uh, CyberSource has got solutions in place to help merchants reduce that risk to fraud. And the key thing here is Waterfield, uh, Waterfield Technologies IVR solutions and call center solutions have full access to these features. Thanks, Howard. Yeah, thank, thank you, Jay. Appreciate that. So, um, in a so when we look at the, the overall solution, um, we wanted to just uh, just very briefly kind of touch on the, the three major components here uh, for an IVR, a secure IVR. So um, key to this is the aspect um, level one PCI um, cloud that is accredited by both Visa and MasterCard. Jay, forgive me for uh, mentioning the M word. And, um, and then also uh, with the industry's only 100% uptime guarantee service level agreement. Um, this is a key reason why we chose um, Aspect to host our applications uh, because of, 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 of these credentials. Uh, it's also a standards-based platform, so if you're familiar with CXP Pro from Boxeo, uh, which is a, an Aspect company, um, the, the, this IVR has um, great um, standards-based capabilities for integrating to external systems, which helps us to offer a, a better customer experience to our customers. Um, 
we're going to provide that secure payment application and we're going to adapt it to the way you do business. We talked earlier about that, but the idea is, is um, you know, we want it to have uh, the branding, the persona, the, 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 the same voice that you use in your regular IVR or um, anything that's, that's associated with specific data points that are, that are critical to um, transactions for your business in addition to the credit card information. We're going to use our best practices, um, and we have a commitment to your complete satisfaction. And so that's um, reasons why we um, we are part of this solution. Um, Jay, do you want to talk briefly about um, the CyberSource part of the application? Yeah. So as I mentioned, it kind of already. Again, we have a, a range of products around payment security, and really, what that primarily falls under two umbrellas: it's tokenization, which allows merchants to basically remove the credit card uh, completely from their environment. So you store the credit card within CyberSource, CyberSource then will give you back a token. The other piece that we have is, again, is the gateway capabilities, our ability to, to reach different banks, offer payment services um, in a highly available, highly secure uh, PCI-compliant payment environment. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly, exactly. So um, we kind of talked about it briefly here as well, that this whole idea of a standards-based IVR um, in, in the way that we can integrate with multiple touch points, it's something that comes up in every one of our engagements. And I won't touch on every single one of these, but I wanted to just point out that there's a wide variety in our toolkit about ways that we can contact um, your, your back-end systems, your ERP, your CRM. Um, systems of record and so on to to get contextual information that that helps us to um, you know better serve your customer in the IVR application, as well as to just update you with the results of of, of those transactions as well. Um, one of the most interesting ones that's that's come up um, uh, recently is is the ability for us to uh, do IVR to IVR interactions. So you may have already invested in in an enterprise IVR solution but don't necessarily want to um, pay the cost of, of upgrading that or making it PCI compliant. As we saw earlier, those costs can be very expensive. And so um, IVR to IVR transfers where perhaps doing a SIP refer with uh, information embedded in the SIP header that helps us provide contextual information about who to apply the payment towards um, and what the minimum payment is and different things like that. Um, gives that you know rich customer data to help us um, better service the customer, and so um, again, just kind of leaving the idea that there's a lot that we can do for integrating with with backend systems. Now, another question that comes up in every engagement is, well, what if I don't want to transfer my callers to an IVR? Um, very commonly, we've got um, industries that are uh, built around high touch customer experience, and they don't want to. Um, you know, hand them off from an agent to an automated system, and so that does um, become a, a, a problem that, that we have to be able to solve for. One of the ways we do that is through um, DTMF masking, and so just briefly, the call flow goes like this, that the caller is going to call in to a PBX or an ACD and get routed to a particular contact center agent. Um, in between that ACD, and your calling call recording application and your and your contact center agent is this network appliance uh, that we'll offer you. And essentially, what it does is it it blanks out those tones. So the touch tone entry of the 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 credit card number is either heard as a flat tone, um, white noise, or even no noise at all. And um, and that prevents you from recording that transaction. It also prevents the agent from hearing it. You do have an option for that touch tone to be translated and whispered to the agent if you absolutely must have an agent enter that number into your um, CRM system or ERP. Um, however, we do offer the ability to, um, through CTI, to pass that information directly to your back-end system, associate it with the right record, and to um, uh, basically, your your application would then, you know, have masked credit card information for the agent to view. Once it's in there, um, you use the same systems from your desktop application to process um, through the CyberSource APIs and get results of those payments. J, 
Jay, anything you want to um, add to that process? Uh, no, I think you've covered it quite well there, Howard. I mean, the key here is that um, you know we provide a lot of pay or a robust set of payment services. Um, everything accessible through an API. I know a couple slides back, Howard talked about some of the different integration methods with within the IVR platform. But CyberSource also provides uh, numerous ways to connect to our gateway and leverage our payment services. Um, but again, everything is accessible through our web services API. And I can't stress enough, though, that the uh, Waterflow Technologies platform has full access um, and the ability to use those uh, APIs and those services in applications for, for its customers. Excellent. Excellent. So a um, little bit of a, of a chart here on, on uh, the, the appliance, and I won't go into all the details here, but um, the idea here is that this is what we call essentially a Swiss Army knife for telephony engineers. It's, a, it's an appliance that allows us to do many things in addition to, um, uh, you know, the, the DTMF masking. Um, so we can trans translate from a TDM to VoIP and, you know, so maybe you've got a T1 coming into your contact center and you need um, to translate that to SIP for a connection to the IVR and so on. We can do all of that through this platform. And so uh, that's really all that I wanted to touch on there. Jay, I'd like to maybe turn it back to you just to um, kind of wrap up a, a couple of slides here on, on the CyberSource offering. Sure, sure. We've covered some of these before. Again, I, when I talk about payment security, one of the things that I haven't really mentioned is our secure acceptance. I know Howard mentioned that we would talk about that earlier. What secure acceptance is, is CyberSource's version of hosted payment pages. And you might wonder how does that apply within the call center. So, you know, Howard earlier talked on self-service. So through our secure acceptance and basically our hosted page framework, you can integrate these into your site, your e-commerce channel, your mobile channel, um, where customers then can go in and manage um, their, their own payment data, right? They can go in, they can update their card information, they can update their address information, and do this in a secure and PCI compliant way. Uh, we also have solutions that enable, you know, with, with secure acceptance, solutions that enable the call center to send email to customers. So for example, you could have conversations over the phone, very inexpensive way to implement a solution that is PCI compliant, but you could send emails to the customers, um, the customer would then click the link, open that link up, the link would then launch to a cyber source uh, payment page, which is fully customizable by the merchant, but that way the customer would be able to have control over entering their payment information, and the call center rep would indeed receive real-time feedback of the status of that payment. Um, the benefit to the merchant and out of all of these solutions is that the call center rep is removed from accepting the credit cards, and the merchant overall does not have to deal with the cardhold data traversing through uh, their network. Typically, when you think about secure acceptance under the umbrella of payment security, we couple it with our tokenization services. So as I mentioned before, tokenization is about you know you allowing CyberSource to store your credit card or check information um, in our PCI compliance centers, allowing you to leverage the security and the infrastructure that we have in place to store that data. In return, you receive a token that you can store in your system. What this does, it completely removes credit cards, um, really completely removes the, re the requirement for merchants to store credit cards in their environment. Um, so it kind of reduces your risk to things such as credit card breaches um, or those credit cards just basically getting in the hands of someone who has malicious intent. Um, but the other key benefit to merchants by using our tokenization services is it allows for a reduced, fr uh, reduced friction checkout experiences across all payment channels. So when you think about the IDR, you think about the call center, the ability for the person to call in, quickly be told what credit card they used the last time, and simply just press a button to make the payment, or have the call center rep be able to just reference the, you know, the last four digits of the card and be able to uh, make the payment on behalf of the customer without them taking that information over the phone is, uh, is an opportunity for incremental revenue and really just the overall better customer experience. Um, and then lastly, I was going to say, again, with tokenization, the benefit is that 
you know, should you have to deal with the customer calling in, they need to make follow-on transactions, you need to initiate refunds. It allows your call center reps to have those intelligent conversations with the consumer, um, but be able to handle those business functions without the need to, um, to, uh, to exchange the credit card information. Howard? Yep. Oh, and then this slide here is really talking about just kind of brings it together, the overall benefits of really CyberSource payment security, um, and really coupled with, with Waterfield's IVR call center solutions. Um, the key thing, you know, a lot of the merchants that we speak with are very interested in reducing their PCI DSS scope. Um, ultimately, what that does is, again, we remove the credit card information, we remove credit cards out of many of your processes. Um, and ultimately, it costs you less time to achieve compliance. Going back to the slides earlier that Howard had mentioned about just the overall cost to attain and maintain your PCI compliancy. Uh, we talk about lower calls, right? So with these solutions in place, we're able to offer quicker checkout processes. Um, we're allowing uh, call center agents to be used in a variety of other ways beyond just simply taking payments over the phone that can be of more value, in other words, doing processes or adding uh, roles, really, that are of more value to the customer, and that can help drive incremental revenue. Um, and then also, it talks about eliminating additional training and impractical policies. So again, the ability with tokenization, with payment security, you know, the idea there that is removing credit card information, uh, the call center rep from hearing the credit card completely is a lot simpler approach. One of the things I didn't touch on, on the previous slide was that recently, especially you see the blur of kind of the online and offline uh, payment channels. Um, CyberSource does offer a complete range of point-to-point -point encrypted solutions. So we do have solutions where if you wanted to have your call center reps, if they do require them to take the credit card, but enter that in a point-to-point uh, -point encrypted reader or um, that can be uh, send the data across the network in sort of an encrypted manner to CyberSource, we offer solutions there as well. But ultimately the goal is to, you know, how does this translate into an improved customer experience? Our solutions, our payment security solutions, our payment tokenization solutions, and then when you couple that with just the overall IVR, uh, Waterfield's IVR and call center solutions, we have a direct impact on improving your customer experience and reducing your uh, risk of handling cardholder data. Howard? Yeah, excellent, excellent, Jay. Thank you for that. So um, kind of as we begin to wrap up here, we just wanted to kind of just, again, just give a, an overview of, the, of comparing the different solutions we've talked about. Uh, we've talked about the secure IVR, uh, DTMF masking, and secure acceptance. And um, I think one of the things that's very common between the secure IVR and the secure acceptance is they offer alternative ways um, to your to your customer population of of really removing that cardholder data from your scope, right? Uh, taking taking those um, payment experiences outside of your your system into a PCI compliant environment, um, and uh, you know all of them all of these solutions have cost considerations. I think when you compare them to the cost of actually becoming PCI compliant within um, your own operations and in your own um, uh, data centers that um, the, the costs um, have a, a compelling ROI. Um, in particular, a consideration for DTMF masking is that um, that it's currently a, a premise-based solution. So um, there would be other types of solutions in place for for hosted uh, contact centers and hosted um, uh, um, IVR solutions. But um, for this particular method, um, that you know, it's it's primarily a premise-based solution. So it depends on what your what your budget is, what your requirements are, and all of those are kinds of things that we work together uh, with you, with Aspect, with, with CyberSource to um, make sure that we're looking at all the pros and cons of each particular um, situation and, and solution for your for you before we recommend one. When we um, look at what Waterfield Technologies provides here, um, we, we are a one-stop shop, if you will. We, we are a master reseller of all things aspect, so um, contact center and IVR. We do the application development. Um, the, you would contract separately with CyberSource to, um, to um, get their services and so forth, but we provide all of the integration uh, between the IVR and CyberSource, so um, there's really um, 
uh, nothing left um, you know for you to have to worry about in that process we, we provide that end-to-end -end service again end-to-end um, -end encryption as Jay was talking about I think a particular area that we're um, that we're uh, very well known for is in the UI design and conceptualization services that we provide, uh, bringing best practices in our experience um, across many, many different customers uh, to help uh, design the, the, the best experience for your customers, the most user-friendly experience that, that protects your brand as, as they engage in that uh, payment process. So the benefits of these solutions to the contact center include guarding against fraud. Obviously, getting that information out of the hands of internal actors is um, a, 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 an important problem that needs to be solved. Um, reducing the cost of your compliance. Again, when you look at the cost of balancing um, using a solution that's already PCI ready, certified, and you know independently audited and attested, accredited by Visa and MasterCard. Um, also um, improving that in, that payer experience. So giving them a sense of security that you care about them, that you are care about their security, um, and that um, you're doing things to help protect them. So um, those were, uh, you know, the 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 main points that we wanted to make. Um, we did um, get a few questions prior to this seminar. We wanted to hit those real quick. Um, if you are using the chat functionality, we're going to capture those questions uh, that you have, and we're going to um, answer those after the call. Um, but in um, the interest of the time we have remaining, um, one of the first questions is, can we use the credit card information we already have? Uh, collected on our website or other sources. Um, Jay, I'm going to let you kind of answer to that. I've got a little prompt here, but I'm sure you'll give us a lot more detail about it. Oh, absolutely, yeah, and we recommend that. So what would happen there is, um, you know, what we would recommend in a solution like that, like I said before, with our payment security, we allow merchants to uh, basically accept payments in a PCI compliant manner on their website. So when you take the credit card information, CyberSource would tokenize that credit card information and then would be able to store that token. You would store that token back in your environment. Where the benefit there is, you know, Waterfield's IVR, that, whether it be the IVR through the call center, you would be able to leverage that token to make follow-on transaction payments. Um, or again, if you had to, as I mentioned before, if you had to initiate refunds, um, you would be able to reference the token instead of the uh, actual credit card information. Of course, the call center rep would still have access to, say, the first six digits and the last four digits of the, of the card, along with the credit card type and the expiration month year, but those transactions would be used with a token or be initiated with a token instead of an um, actual uh, uh, credit card. Yeah, that's very, very important. Um, it, it really speaks to the whole idea, Jay, of, of us improving the customer experience by them not having to repeat that every single time they want to make a payment, uh, particularly if it's a, a recurring kind of payment, right? And um, you even have some subscription services uh, that, that could be used to s set up uh, scheduled payments and, and things like that, right? We do, we do. Actually, we with our within our payment tokenization, we obviously have just the very simple, you give us a credit card and we pass you back a token. But we also talk to merchants that have, um, what, you know, we, we also have a billing engine, if you will. So we can basically in, initiate payments on behalf of merchants. So again, if you have monthly, weekly, recurring uh, payment schedules with your customers, we can definitely facilitate those transactions in our environment. The other nice thing about this is, is, is again, when you couple it also with our fraud solution, you know, we sometimes get the question, how does fraud really, you know, how does, you know, our fraud solution was really designed for the websites, right? And how can you use it in like the call center environment? We use, we have merchants that use our fraud solution. For example, um, you know, because we have access to the credit card information, we're able to compare how that credit card is being used across a wide range of merchants that are using our fraud solution and a wide range of merchants that are using Visa services. Um, we also, so therefore we can uh, provide you an analysis or analytics on the velocity use of a card. We're able to do uh, fraud solutions and build automated rules that can help merchants detect, you know, insider employee fraud. Um, so all of these, again, are coupled together seamlessly um, as a 
a seamless turnkey solution that all connect up to IVR, to Waterfield's IVR's uh, platform. Thanks, Jay. Um, you know, we got a, another question in that, you know, um, uh, about if we're not masking DTMF tones, is there um, any other way to protect PCI data handled by agents? And, um, you know, uh, one, of the, one of the most important things about, um, you know, contact centers is there's a lot of QA recording and, and quality management. Um, and so Aspect actually offers various solutions depending on whether you're hosted or whether you're a premise-based solution. Um, that while it may not um, mask the information from the agents, what we can do is pause the recording so that you're not recording those three critical pieces of information, the credit card number, the expiration date, and the CVV. Uh, you don't want to be able to, you don't want to store those in the same place, right? That's huge PCI risk, right? Um, so um, being able to pause recording while you're um, collecting and handling that protected data um, it is important and then to be able to resume recording for the rest of the call um, so that you can um, complete your quality analysis. And so those, those solutions are definitely available. Um, you know, there's also um, uh, questions about do we offer other types of solutions so um, just or are we just focused on IVR uh, payment processing and um, the, the quick answer is that yes, um, Waterfield is a master reseller. Um, we sell everything that, that Aspect offers, um, so um, everything from omnichannel contact centers, um, whether they be hosted, um, cloud you know, um, services, or whether they be um, premise-based solutions. Uh, um, there's a host of workforce optimization solutions that include things like quality management and recording, um, call scoring, and so on, speech analytics. Um, text analytics, performance management, and social engagement as well. So um, we offer all of those solutions in addition to, um, you know, our PCI specialty. And I would definitely say too, Howard, on that is you, you know, Waterfield is very good with integrations into existing CRM order management systems as well. I know with CyberSource we've worked with you on various projects to accomplish, you know, different requirements and objectives by merchants and uh, it, it, exactly we've we've touched um, many of the the most common um, uh, you know CRM platforms whether it be you know Microsoft Dynamics or um, uh, Siebel Salesforce.com and so on so we're we're um, touching all of those types of systems all the time and, and um, uh, in, in various ways yep I know we've done solutions around Oracle and NetSuite too Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, that's the conclusion of, of, of our prepared presentation. I'll turn it back to Maddie for some closing comments. Thanks, Howard. So, Aspect Waterfield and CyberSource all work very closely together. If you'd like some more information, feel free to reach out to Howard or Jay, or you can go directly to your Aspect sales rep. And I'd like to thank Howard and Jay for their presentations and sharing their insight with us today. And I'd also like to thank each of you for joining us for PCI Compliance in the Contact Center. <laughs>